Hi everybody, it's Bob Gall with a special Halloween edition of Subrogation Simplified. Our topic for today is no ifs, ands, or buts. We're going to talk about subrogation and outdoor smoking areas. What do I mean? Nobody's allowed to smoke inside anymore. So if you're in an office district or at a school, what you see is people congregating outside, smoking in alleyways, near dumpsters, on loading docks. And the question that we're gonna talk about today is what happens when one of those smokers puts a cigarette butt or a match in a dumpster or in a pile of leaves, causes a fire and causes damage to the building he's smoking outside of and neighboring properties. Can we sue the owner of the building for a fire caused by an unknown smoker? There's a brand new case from the state of Maryland decided this year, 2020, that talks about this exact issue. So let me finish my cigarette. Read it out. We're going to go inside. I'm going to tell you about the case and how it's going to impact your practice. Everybody, I'm back from my smoke break. I'm all warm inside now. Um, the case I was telling you about involved a building owned by the Steam Fitters Union. So I had Evan, actually paid my son Evan to draw a picture. Here's the Steam Fitters Union. And what the union did is they held classes for apprentices. Here's some couple guys learning math or learning their trade. In between classes, the apprentices would go out between the union building and a neighboring property and they would have a smoke break. And one of those apprentices, apprentice discarded a cigarette into a mulch bed. The mulch bed ignited, caused a fire, caused damage to the neighboring property. So the insurance carrier for the neighboring property filed suit against the union. Union denied the claim. They said, we're not responsible for the conduct of some unknown smoker. And number two, we don't let anybody smoke on the premises. There is no smoking, so we are not responsible. Case went up to the highest court in Maryland and the court looked closely at the facts of the case. What the court noted was that there were hundreds of cigarettes in this space between the two buildings. And they said that the union knew people were smoking. They knew the apprentices were smoking in that area. And this is important that it was foreseeable that one of those smokers would put an ash or a cigarette or a match into the mulch pile, causing a fire causing damage to the neighboring property. All right, let's wrap up. All right, why do I want you to know about this case? Number one, if you have any kind of case of involving an outdoor smoking area, whether it's a designated area or a non-designated area, I want you to be familiar with this case. Number two, the case provides a nice framework for analyzing when and whether a building owner might be responsible for conduct of someone else on his property. What the court, generally what they're gonna look at is did the building owner know about the conduct and was it foreseeable that that conduct would cause damage to a neighboring property, right? That's all I have. If you like the video, please subscribe. Uh, send me any comments that you have, topics. Have a great Halloween weekend.